Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the top three passives of Vampire Survivors. Now, this list is gonna be a little bit of a personal preference, so if you guys don't agree with my list, feel free to leave down in the comments what your top three passive items inside of Vampire Survivors is. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. It would be amazing to hear some feedback, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started in today's video. Now, the number one passive in the entire game of Vampire Survivors has to hands down number one a hundred percent has to definitely be empty tomb if you guys don't know what empty tomb does this passive decreases the cooldown time between attacks from your character this passive this passive practically buffs each and every weapon making the cooldown time less and this more dps at the end of the day now it is a shame that you know it's used to evolve to one which is one of the worst dps weapons in the game but other than that i personally think it's amazing because you get that buff you get that cooldown which makes everything Every single weapon a uh, trillion times better now inside of second place we have the passive which is chandelier now I know it's not called a chandelier but I just like calling it chandelier because it looks like it's supposed to be called chandelier now this passive increases the area of weapons this directly affects some of the strongest weapons in the game such as labora King's Bible thunder loop and far far more I'd say it's a go-to weapon for any overpowered build inside of vampire survivors you rock this guy you could probably Probably see a direct buff in each and every single one of the highest DPS weapons in the game. Most of the highest DPS weapons in the game. So it's definitely a great pickup no matter what. Lastly, the third best passive would definitely have to be Spellbinder in my opinion. Now, Spellbinder increases the duration of a weapon, making it last longer before its next cooldown. This also affects almost all weapons inside of the game. The stronger ones being Labor, Rune Tracer, Bones, uh, Vandalier and a lot a lot more making a weapon last longer doing its attack process means more dps at the end of the day and more dps is never a bad thing it's literally never a bad thing never and there you have it ladies and gentlemen those are my top three passive weapons in all of vampire survivors i hope that you guys enjoyed and as always if you did agree with what i have to say let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and uh, i'd love to hear what you guys have to say but yeah thank you for watching thank you for enjoying i hope you guys have a great morning evening and afternoon and i'll see you guys in the next video my friends peace